Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope everyone is having a great day. I am doing really well. I wanted to make another video um, about books. I, I love books. Um, I do read probably every day. I'm almost always reading a book or two. Um, and I think it's a really good exercise for the brain. Um, and today I wanted to share with you about several books that have really impacted my life and changed the course of my life. Um, and I also wanted to share with you a few that I have thrifted and I have listed in my um, eBay store, Thrifted Texas Threads. Um, I was recently inspired by uh, Heroin Bob's YouTube channel um, to, to pick up books because she reminded me that if we don't pick them up, somebody doesn't buy them, they're just going to go to the landfill. And some of the books are really beautiful books with great information. Um, I even like to decorate with books. I think they look really cool on my, my shelves and I like to lay them flat and stand them up and just put little trinkets on them. So anyway, so first I'm just going to show you um, three books that have really, really impacted my life. Um, the first one is Power Thoughts by Joyce Meyer. I I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with Joyce Meyer, but she is a Bible teacher. Um, she lives in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Her, her ministry is there as well. And um, she's written over 90 books. Um, I've read probably 30 of them. Um, they are really wonderful books. She's a wonderful minister. I really have benefited a lot from her teachings. Um, this book in particular talks about... Um, thoughts and how important it is to get your thoughts on track, positively thinking how God wants us to think. Um, so I kind of struggled, have struggled with depression in my life. And this book really helped me to see that um, you can control your thoughts. Like you don't always have to dwell on negative things. Um, you can change your thoughts and it can change your life. It changed mine. Um, so this book, she has outlined 12 power thoughts. Um, for example, the first one is I can do whatever I need to do in life through Christ. And so you go through and you read a chapter about that. And then at the end, she gives you three scripture verses to back up um, that thought. And so basically you, you try to memorize those verses. You work on that power thought for several days or a week and, um, yeah, I was, it was a really good thing for me. I think I read this book three times. Um, and like for the, for example, the second one, I just want to give you one more example is, um, God loves me unconditionally. So you, you think on that, on that thought, and then you read the chapter about it. And then you have three verses in the back to back up, um, that thought. So this book was really amazing for me and really changed my life. Um, another book that, um, has also really impacted my life is called the maker's diet. Um, I bookmarked him cause I wanted to show you a couple things, but, um, it's by a man named Jordan Rubin, who is now, um, a naturopathic doctor or who is a naturopathic doctor, but, um, um, he, so he grew up in like an organic home with like, um, a chiropractor for a father and like everything was organic and um, he went off to school to Florida State University and he was involved in everything and um, was eating like normal college students do burgers, pizzas, fries, whatever sodas. And it seriously impacted his gut health um, along with all the activity and not having time to adjust his body to adjust to the changes. And um, he developed extremely bad Crohn's disease. And I wanted to show you a quick picture, um, of him after he had gotten it. As you can see, he looks really bad. And it was, it's just, it's such an interesting story as well to read about that. But he says that he and his father, who, you know, was a chiropractor, um, tried 70 something different doctors for healing and, um, nothing was working. It was, it, it you know, it's very tragic. But he ended up, his dad ended up coming across a naturopathic doctor in um, California um, that taught biblical eating. And so the family sent Jordan out there to actually live. I think he lived in a camper near the doctor's home. And the doctor 
just guided him into this biblical eating and was able to heal his gut along with um, micro, let's see, soil-based organisms, or he'll refer to them as SBOs, that his father had found. He was adding those into his diet, which are like good, like probiotics kind of, um, but I think they're a little bit hardier. So all of that aided in his healing. And this is a picture of him when he's on the beach in California after, I don't know how many months he had been with the doctor, with this doctor in California. But um, anyway, he did receive healing. He did go on to become um, a doctor in several different areas. I think naturopathic is one of them, um, holistic healing. So I just, I never realized how important um diet is to overall health. I mean, I've always been interested in nutrition. I will say that, but it just never impacted me as much as this book did. And I did the maker's diet for 40 days. It's like a 40 day plan. And I felt so amazing after doing it. Um, it is very strict though. And, um, there's like no drinking, which now I, I do enjoy having a few drinks, um, when I'm out socially, I don't, I don't drink as much by myself anymore. Sometimes I will have wine, um, which he does talk about wine. Wine is actually good. It has resveratrol in it. Um, oh, and he also talks about supplements, probiotics, uh, fish oil, vitamins. I still take all of those every day. And I think that definitely the fish oil specifically has helped with my, <clears throat> my memory. Um, but yeah, so I, I try to, to eat a lot healthier now. And I try to recall things that he, that I've learned with that when, you know, taking care of myself and, <clears throat> and actually if I have a question about something like, are eggs good for you? You know, what, what about coffee? <clears throat> I always refer to the maker's diet and see what he has to say about it because it's biblical. And I feel like I've, for me, I believe the Bible is the ultimate source of truth. So um, for me, that kind of helps helps guide me. And I believe I'm finding the truth when I reference the Maker's Diet for things. So um, anyway, so those two books are probably the most impactful books I've read so far in my life. Um Okay, from there, we're going to shift a little bit. I wanted to share with you a few books that I have fa had found at um, a thrift store in Cedar Park. And um, I, I, um, I'm I getting into selling books a little bit. Like I said, I, I do love books. I love the way they look. Um, a lot of good information in there. So um, I'm going to start looking for books, but they're going to have to be really special in order for me to buy them and try to sell them on my store. Um, I don't think I've really sold any books yet. But um, I'm hopeful other people sell books all the time, so we'll see. Okay, the first one is called Creating Magic by um, Lee Cockrell, um, Leadership Strategies from uh, a Disney CEO. It was in really good shape. Um, <clears throat> I think this one actually did have a little bit of highlighting, which, of course, I disclosed on my, um, I disclosed on my listing of, of this book. So... Um, yeah, I did pick that up. Um, it was originally $26. I got it for a couple dollars and I think I have it listed for like 10. Um, I also picked up this really beautiful gift book called graces, um, prayers and poems for everyday meals and special occasions by June Cotner originally sold at restoration hard, uh, restoration hardware. Um, it's just a really pretty gift book. I thought about keeping it for myself, but, um, I don't really have a family yet. Um, I, I am in a committed relationship with my boyfriend. And um, anyway, I did list it like it has like Thanksgiving Day prayer. I thought that was really neat. Um, it's very, very well done. Really beautiful. beautiful. Oh, Halloween Grace. I like that. I may have to go back and read that one because we have such, um, you know, spooky, scary, gory stuff around Halloween that Sometimes it's it's good to appreciate, you know, what exactly Halloween was originally for. It's like day to remember the deceased and stuff. So go back and read that part. Anyway, um, I also found this book in great condition. Um, looks like it's probably never been read called The Wholehearted Wife by um, 
Gary Smalley, and I think that Greg Smalley is his son, and then Aaron Smalley, his daughter-in-law. Um, of course, it's going to be um, a biblical perspective on being a wife. Um, I think this is a really would be a really great book. I've I've read several books like this, and I'm not even currently a wife myself, but maybe one day. Um, <clears throat> which brings me to my next book. Um, it's called Love and Respect. This I have read once or twice by Dr. Emerson Egerix, Um, and it is based on the verse Ephesians 5.33 is kind of like the central verse, and I wanted to share that real quick. Um, Ephesians 5.33 says about marriage relationships, however, let each man of you without exception love his wife as being in a sense his very own self. And let the wife see that she respects and reverences her husband, that she notices him. So sorry, my, my kitten here is is bouncing off the walls. Of course, he's six months. Uh, that she reverences her husband, that she notices him, regards him, honors him, prefers him, venerates and esteems him, and that she defers to him, praises him, and loves and admires him exceedingly. Um, <clears throat> Hold on, wait. So the man is to love his wife and the wife is to reverence or respect her husband. I've heard by multiple ministers that um, that is the important thing in a relationship. Like men need respect, women need love. And I think it doesn't always come naturally to us. Like it's more natural for a woman to love and it's more natural for a man to show respect. So it's like you have to do the opposite in, in your um in your marriage relationship or even in your dating relationships, if you're kind of getting serious about it, make sure that you're um, like me as a, as a woman to respect my boyfriend and to, to notice him and to, um, to admire him. Um, so anyways, that's, that's that one. That one also had a good impact on me. Hopefully if I ever get married again, I will read that again. And my, um, my husband would read it with me. So I think it would just be a good thing to, to think about, to meditate on, to, to have in our minds as how we are to treat each other and how to make it a successful marriage. One more book, the final one I wanted to share with you. It's, I consider it kind of like a coffee table book, but, um, like I would put it, I did have it on my coffee table for a little bit, but I really like having space on there. Cause I usually like eat at my coffee table and have my coffee there. And now I have a kitten that's jumping up and down on it. So, um, but this is a forties fashion book. Um, I know the forties fashion and like fifties fashion is really kind of in right now. It's like the retro look. Um, but this book was like $2 and it's in such great shape. It has some really cool, um, pictures and just like some, a little bit of reading in there. Um, I just thought it was so neat. I, I do enjoy fashion. Of course, you know from my channel, but um, um, I didn't read through it, but I did think it was a really neat book, and I do have it listed on my eBay store, Thrifted Texas Threads. So anyway, hold on my mouse fell. <laughs> um, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was inspiring to you. Um, Please do go check out my, my eBay store if you're interested in any of these books or if you just want to see what I have listed there. And um, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.